Hey guys and welcome to another London 2012 video and today we're on day 12 of the Olympic Games. Today we're going to be checking out the men's javelin and the men's 3 meter springboard. Now the javelin event was requested by quite a few of you guys uh, and really a mixed bag when it came to the other events but you know what? Diving is an event that I have to overcome. I'm not particularly great at it, so uh, I'm going for it, and we're going to see how we do. But anyway, today we're checking out the men's javelin, first of all, and we're looking at Jack Mawang of Italy. Not a very Italian name, but a great name nonetheless. And here he is. Of course, he's got that gold javelin, and I hope I can remember what to do here. So let's see. It's locked in. Perfect angle. It's not a bad start for him. And there it is. Very nicely done. 88.34 meters. A good start for the Italian. And he is in pole. This guy, brought up in Rome, of all places, spent a lot of his childhood getting his name taken the piss out of, to be honest with you. But uh, he managed to live with it, and now he is competing for gold in the Olympics. For the 92.75 there. Very, very solid. Of course, six attempts. Quite a few goes to get it right. And the Olympic world record is pretty tough to beat. Let's see what you can do here. Perfect angle again. And it looks massive to be honest with you. And oh my goodness me. 99.57. A new world record. And I tell you what. That is phenomenal. Everyone else might as well go home now. He is through to the finals. An absolutely humongous throw. good angle and that's going to be over 90 meters 92.37 at the moment averaging over 90 meters that is massive so he is first Great Britain second and Finland in third a lot of questions were asked about uh, this Italian uniform who made it? I have no idea. It's a little bit weird to be honest with you. Very tight. And a couple of athletes have even complained about it. But it is what it is. And it is helping him out today though. He is absolutely destroying this event. And so far, comfortably in pole. So here we go. Final throw. What can Jack Mawang pull out? 37 degrees there. That'll be another over 90 meters. And there it is, 95.98. It's good enough. He's already got the world record. And he will qualify comfortably in first place. And as you can see there, that is a humongous, humongous throw. Let's have a look at this here great run up and the power he puts through there as it flies through the air super duper anyway Italy first Finland second Great Britain third and Canada will be fourth and the final country to qualify so we move on to the men's diving event it's a tough event this one requires a lot of precision, finesse, practice, everything comes into play. And today we are checking Al Koholik of Italy. He has been struggling for many years with his problem, but today can Mr. Al Koholik pull it out the bag? There he is. 
And he is going to start this one fairly easy with a 2.5 forward in tuck. Remember, this is only 3 meters, so it has to be done with precision. That's nicely done. Not much splash, got it really quite well. And he will be pleased with that effort. You can see here, just jumps up. It's good elevation, keeps it in tight and then as straight as an arrow and there it is nines and eights gives him a grand score of 58.3 and that will put him in fourth see what he can do now I'm crank it up just a little bit here 2.5 back in tuck remember this is qualifying so he doesn't need to go too extravagant Once again, it's a good dive for him. And he'll be pleased with that. Here's the replay. This guy for many years was in alcohol uh, anonymous. And uh, it's only over the last few years that he's managed to sort his problem out. And here he is today competing to get to the final. Anyway, he's in fourth and comfortably up with the leaders. Gonna crank it up now. 2.5 reverse in pike. See what he can do. Oh, the splash was a little bit bigger than he would have liked. And that's the problem he's gonna have here. Probably gonna get in between sixes and sevens. He performed the uh, sequence well but he couldn't straighten himself out. Let's see what he does get here. That's not too bad, sevens. And that will give him a score of 66, and will keep him comfortably in fourth. So 2.5 inward in tuck here. See what he can do. a little bit of a splash but it will take that it will be good enough for him see once again gets up well keeps it in tight and there it is good scores again gives him a total of 71.5 and with two to go he is in fourth still I don't know if he wants to crank it up too much. We'll go for a 2.5 reverse, 1.5 twist in tuck. That was a nice dive from him. Precision. That will be very, very good score wise. It was very nicely, very smoothly done here. Up he goes, twists inside and then a nice dive at the end. Yeah, nines overall, he'll take that. Gives him a score of 83.7, that will put him comfortably in fourth now and really there's no doubt he will be into the finals. Last dive, we're going to go for it, 3.5, back in tuck. See what he can do. Oh, he went completely the wrong way. And, uh, well, landed on his back. That was not particularly good. And it won't matter. He will be qualifying no matter what. He'll get fives there. 54.2 finished in fourth 
So, USA first, Hungary second, France will be third, and Alcoholic of Italy qualifies in fourth. So on to the men's javelin final. He's already got the world record. He already surpassed all expectations in qualifying. But what can Jack Mawang do here today? So he needs to get a good start. Speeds in. It's a good angle from him. That's a nice start. 89.1 meters. We'll put him in first place ahead of Vitor Del Sarto of Brazil. Here we go then, round two. See what we can do here. This could be close here to being a foul as well. Oh, not quite. That's not as good as his first attempt, only 85.4. But he is still in first. A lot of people asked, where did he get his name from? You know, Jack Mawang is not a particularly Italian name. Well, his parents weren't necessarily full-blooded Italians. His dad was Italian, but his mother was actually Asian. I'll tell you what, this is a huge throw. Unlucky. 98.16. But yep, his mother was Asian, and uh, they actually took her name over her dad's name. Can you believe that? It was definitely a weird one, but now he has a name that's one of a kind, and people will not forget this guy. Not with the performance he's putting at the moment. It's another big throw from the big man. Just below what he previously got, 97.28. There really is no stopping the Italian now. Huge lead over Brazil. And he just cannot really lose now, but can he possibly break his own record? Well, that's not going to be good enough. Decent angle, but not massive. And that's just over 90 meters. So here we go, last throw of the dice. Italy will take the gold no matter what happens now. But maybe one large, huge throw. Well, that's not going to happen because the speed lock is pathetic. Oh dear. But it won't matter. Only 70 meters there. But anyway, Jack Mawang has done it. He's got Italy yet another gold medal. And here was the huge throw that won it for him. 97 meters. Didn't break his own record today, but really, he had to pull off something special to do that. But anyway, Italy first. Brazil will take the silver. And Richard Lowenbein of Germany will take the bronze. And here it is, the Italian national anthem once again. The achievements of this athlete, what a performance it was. The nation now stands together for the national anthems. And I'm sure the emotion will boil over on that podium. And quite rightly, tears of joy. So there we have it, Italy take their 15th gold of the games with 3 silvers, 2 bronze. China second, 6 golds, 9 silvers and 2 bronze. And Greece still third with 3 silvers and a bronze. So we move on to the aquatics, the diving event. And it's time to see what these gentlemen can do today. 
going to be a big one. That's what she said anyway. And we are checking out Alcoholic once more. And uh, be wary of Wei Li. This guy is a legend. And he is known to perform on this kind of stage. But we're going to need a massive start here. We're going to start with a 3.5 forward in tuck because we need to get going. See what he can do. And that was terrible. Didn't get it straight. Not a very good start for him. And that's always the risk you take going for a more difficult dive. You can see here, performed it fine, but then he just couldn't get it straight at the end. And it's going to be a very bad start for him here. And only a score of 46. That already puts him down into sixth. I'm going to have to step it up. Well, we're going to have to go for it again. 2.5 back in Pike. See what he can do. Well, that was much better from him. Nice and erect as he went into the pool there. A little dance to say, hey, I'm still in this game. Did well and then kept it nice and straight there as he went into the pool. And scores of nines will give him a grand total of 81. And that will put him back in contention up to fourth. But Whaley of China pulling away. Going for it again, 2.5 reverse in pike. He's a good one here. Well, it was all right. A little bit of a splash at the end, though. Could have been better. But the pressure was on. As you can see here. Never has a problem performing. It's just finishing straight is always the difficult part. But he'll take that, 7.5s to 9s, gives him a grand total of 73.5. But he's still quite a way behind Zoltan Gerali of Hungary. Needs to go big or he will go home. 2.5 inward in Pike. Not easy. That was good from him. Nice and straight. And no complaints with that one. It's going to be tough for him to get a medal now, but he can still go out in style. And as you can see, they like that one a lot. 9.5s here, an 85.5. With two to go, he needs to step it up, though, to get into the medals. Well, now is a chance to what can he do here? He doesn't want to go too crazy. He's going to have to do this one. See what happens. And that was very nicely done by him. He will be very pleased with that. Kept it smooth and silky fresh. Nice and straight at the end. Let's see what the judges thought of that. And they liked it a lot. 9.5s here. That's going to give him a 94. And I'll tell you what, he's only 15 points now behind Zoltan Korali. Can he produce the goods to get a bronze here? It's going to be tough. It's going to be really tough. But he's going to have to go for it. 3.5 back in tuck. This is a massive dive for him. Nah, he just didn't get it. Didn't get it. It was very, very tough to pull that out of the bag. It wasn't a huge splash at the end. But he definitely wasn't straight. When you've got to do that many somersaults 
Makes it very tough. We'll see what he gets here. 7.5s. And we'll give him a 78.7. It's not going to be enough. And Mr. Alcoholic will finish him fourth. So Wei Li of China first, John Peterson of USA second, and Zoltan Karali of Hungary finishing third. Italy, just off the medals there, finishing fourth. So we have a look at Italy still first. China will get an extra gold, pushing them up to 41, and Greece remain third. So there we have it guys, day number 12 is in the bag and uh, we're moving on to day 13. So let's see what we have. There's only two more days left now, as you can see the events have narrowed down to four. So this is the second from last day. We've got the women's 100 meter backstroke, K1 kayak single, the men's skeet or the women's archery. Let me know what you guys want me to do. And as always, I will be giving those a bash. Anyway, until next time, be sure to subscribe. Take care.